All right, guys, so the official details for the upcoming update 4.16.0 on Global have been revealed in the in-game news, and for the most part, it's identical to the update that JP got a few months ago, with one pretty significant omission, which uh, we'll talk about in a second. But with all that said, let's jump right in here and see what's going on. So from the top, it says update 4.16.0 will be released soon. Here is the first hand information on the new features. And the first thing we have here is a new mode called Peton Battle. And their description is a new mode where you can engage in battles with super deformed sticker card characters and obtain various items will soon be available. Uh, sticker card characters can be recruited through various ways such as the rewards of Peton Battle. And they do have a separate page for this, so we'll definitely check that out a little bit later. Uh, the second thing we have is a new feature that allows you to exchange duplicate characters for coins. Now, this, this is huge, and this is definitely a feature that a lot of us have been waiting for for a very long time. So, let's see how they describe this. Uh, you will be able to exchange certain SSR characters recruited from summon events for corresponding coins if the characters meet certain conditions and the conditions are you will be able to exchange an SSR character recruited from a summon event for coins under the following circumstances uh, you have a character whose hidden potential is fully activated and has an identical second name as the SSR character or you have a character whose hidden potential is fully activated and is the token awakened form of the SSR character so basically what this means is that in order to exchange an SSR you pulled from a banner or coins, you need to either have the SSR form or the awakened form of that character fully maxed out 100% in the hidden potential system. So they have to be rainbowed first before you can exchange that SSR for coins in the Baba shop. And for the applicable characters here, it says SSR characters recruited from Dragonstone consuming summon events that become available after the release of this feature since update. 4.16.0. So essentially, um, any banners that are currently available, like the LR Super 17 banner or whatever category banner we have live right now, those won't count. It's only banners that come out after the update. So essentially, like the upcoming uh, Trunks and Goten banner, that's probably going to be the first banner where we can exchange the SSRs we pull for coins in the Baba shop. Um, I did make a mistake in the past where I was like, hey, if you're going to summon on Super 17, just wait until the you know new update comes out and then summon so you can exchange the SSRs for coins, but that's not going to work. I wasn't aware that that wasn't how you know the whole thing worked, so that's my bad. But uh, yeah, only banners that come out after will allow you to take advantage of this feature. All right. And uh, here's a little graphic that shows you you know, which coins you can exchange which kinds of characters for. And they use this Fizz Goku as an example. So basically, the kind of coin you get from the Baba Shop for your SSR depends on where you actually pulled that SSR from. So if you pulled this Goku from a Legendary Summon Banner or a top Legendary Summon Banner that gives gold coins, then he can be exchanged for gold coins in the Baba Shop. And then if you pull them from a Dokkan Festival banner, then he can, be he can be exchanged for red coins. And finally, if you got him from a blue coin banner like a Type Summon, Category Summon, or Rising Dragon Carnival, then you can exchange him for blue coins, right? So it's basically the type of coin you get from the banner that you summoned on will be the type of coin you can get by exchanging that SSR, if that makes sense. And... Finally, we have optimized um, the, the display of characters. And this is a pretty minor feature, but it does, I think, make a pretty big difference um, in terms of like box management. So instead of having like a bunch of the same character, right? Like if these characters are exactly the same and, you know, before the update, they would take up a bunch of box space. Now they're going to be stacked. So instead of showing 10 different Gohans, it's going to show one Gohan in your box, but show a 10 on the top left corner. So once again, you know, it's not going to be like life changing, but it's definitely going to make your uh, box management a lot easier and just make the whole 
you know, UI a lot more visually pleasing, I guess. Now, it's funny they used LR Gohans as an example, because, like, who's going to have 10 Dokkan Awakened LR Gohans? Like, it just doesn't make any sense, unless you're the biggest whale in the world. Even if you're the biggest whale, like, why would you spend all those resources to awaken 10 AGL LR Gohans? I don't really get it, but this is, you know, hopefully enough to get the point across, so... Yeah, we got that feature coming as well. And that's it. That's all they talked about in this news update. Um, at the bottom, it says, Stay tuned for update 4.16.0. Further details regarding the new features will be revealed in the future. Please note that the update content and date of release are subject to change without prior warning. Now, we do have a maintenance scheduled for about a day from now, so after that maintenance, we should, we should be getting this new update as well. So it's coming very, very soon. But uh, as I said at the beginning of this video, there was a significant omission from the news that uh, concerns me a little bit, concerns me a little bit, and that's the same name update. If you guys don't know what that is, uh, essentially, when JP got update 4.16.0, they got this new feature where you are now allowed to actually run characters with the exact same name. So, for example, like, you know, Ultra Instinct Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta or whatever. You know, before the update right now, you can only run one of uh, a character with, like, that specific name, right? So, like, you can't run multiple, you know, legendary Super Saiyan Brolies or whatever the case may be. But after the update... You're allowed to do that. Even though they don't link with each other, you can have multiple of the exact same character on the same team. And they don't talk about that at all in this news release. Uh, it does say, you know, more details regarding the new features will be revealed in the future. So maybe they're keeping it low key. Maybe they want to keep it a surprise. Not really sure. But if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, when JP got this, like, you know, update information um, in their news, they did talk about the same name update. And there was like a graphic with like a bunch of, you know, Super Saiyan Gokus on the same team. So I don't really know what's up with that. Um, maybe, once again, they might be keeping it a surprise or maybe they're going to push it to another update in the future, maybe closer to the anniversary or maybe after the anniversary. It's hard to say, man. It's hard to say. Like, I, I, I'm not really sure right now. I'm hoping that uh, we will still get it for this update, and it's just going to be, you know, announced um, when the actual update comes out, maybe. But, um, yeah, hopefully that's the case, because I can see a lot of outrage out there if uh, that feature is kept from us, you know, when, when JP got it for this update. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not trying to stir up anything. I'm not trying to you know, incite any anger from the community. I'm just saying, you know, I noticed it was missing. It's kind of weird that they don't talk about it, but uh, hopefully we'll still get it for update 4.16.0. But nonetheless, yo, pet on battle, very exciting. Uh, you know, coin exchange, extremely, extremely significant update for, for sure. And then this uh, new optimized display is, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be nice. Now lastly, before we go, Let's quickly look at the Peton Battle tab to see what kind of information they have for us here. So it says, The new mode Peton Battle will soon be available in Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Engage in battles with warriors who have transformed into sticker cards and aim to complete your collection. About Peton Battle. Peton Battle is a new mode where you can engage in battles against enemy sticker cards with the sticker cards you have collected. Deploy your sticker cards to confront an enemy sticker card that appears on the battlefield. Engage in battle and it will automatically proceed. Your sticker cards will deal damage to the sticker, to the enemy sticker card as the battle progresses. And it says sticker cards sent into battle will not be returned. About sticker cards. Sticker cards can be obtained by opening sticker card packs. Sticker card packs can be obtained through the following ways. Obtaining them from the login bonus of pet on battle, winning a battle, and completing certain missions. Now, just to be clear, this is not a pay to win or pay to play system. Um, I believe all the ways to obtain these stickers are completely free. 
okay? So you don't have to worry about like spending stones or spending money or anything like that. Rewards such as sticker card packs and items can be obtained by defeating enemy sticker cards. Battle. You can check how the battle is going through the battle animation and the remaining time displayed on the top right corner of the page. Even if you fail to defeat the enemy, the enemy will remain in the state from the last battle as long as you stay in the same battlefield. About the collection. You can check the uh, sticker cards you have collected at collection. Collect sticker cards and aim to complete your collection. Sticker cards obtained for the first time will be registered in your collection. And that's pretty much it. So they give you a very brief overview of how this works. And I guess the easiest way to explain it is that you'll be collecting sticker cards of like different characters with different stats and all that stuff. And then you use those stickers to take on enemies. And uh, if you defeat them, then you get rewards. And it's kind of like a passive mode where you just set it and forget it. So you set your sticker cards, the battle happens, you know, in the background, and then you come back to see how's, how how it's going, you know, how the battle's going, and uh, you get some rewards. And that is essentially the new mode, guys. Pets on Battle's coming. I still don't fully understand it, if I'm being completely honest. I will have to, you know, have more hands-on experience with it before I can do a full guide or just, like, you know, provide you guys with more information. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about it for now. It's coming. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like a lot of fun. And, yo, if you guys haven't heard the OSTs, or Pets on Battle. It's some of the most fire music we have in this game, so that's also pretty pretty dope. Um, what's the theme that's playing right now? Oh, it's the LR Blue Boys. I don't know why this theme is like really low though, like the volume is super low. Let me just quickly change it up a little bit. Let's do... That's good. Okay, in Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta to uh, take us out of here. So there you go, guys. Update 4.16.0 is coming hopefully we get all these features on top of the same name update we'll have to see though we don't have to wait too long like i said the maintenance is happening in about a day and then after the maintenance we'll be getting the uh new update so stay tuned for that stay tuned for pets on battle and that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. Hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. And that's it. I'm out of here. Um, I kind of forgot what I was going to say. There was one more thing I wanted to say. Eh, forget it. Uh, have an awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Africa Media. Signing out.